Autonomous Educational Organization Nazarbayev Intellectual Schools presents the School of the Future. Each new day promises a new beginning and further progress. The beginning of a dream towards smart cities. Further progress towards perfection. Striving for perfection which has made the state prosper. Today they are following the one and only path, the path which leads to the future, to a world hidden from our speculations and open only to those who have obtained precious knowledge. These Kazakhstan children are studying at Nazarbayev intellectual schools. Their mission is a special one, which is to contribute towards the future of Kazakhstan. The best children from all over Kazakhstan who have proven their talents in life will be accepted into these schools. We will educate the future elite of our country in these schools. Rawan Kaldibayev is one of those who will create a new Kazakhstan in the future. Rawan was only three on May the 13th, 2008, when the document on the Intellectual Schools Network was issued in the country. In just the last five years, he has managed to become a student of the school of his dreams, to choose the field of his scientific interest and win the Grand Prix of the 7th National Research Work and Creative Project Competition called Zell Day in the Physics and Technology section. I collected this knowledge long ago when I was five. I can use it now because earlier I didn't have such a systematic and complete approach. Now I can explain it all with this system. The national project of intellectual schools was commenced during a complicated and tense period of time. The world was on the threshold of the financial crisis. Kazakhstan was the first to foresee the danger. At such a moment, the idea of an innovative educational project seemed like a fantasy and an audacious plan. But the President of the Republic considered all possible consequences and made his forecast as to what trends will prevail in the post-crisis period. Competitiveness is supported by knowledge. The 21st century is the century of knowledge and science, and we should prepare our children for it. Within a short period, a project team was gathered involving experts who had worked in various departments on the Science and Education Ministry, managers who had graduated from the Development Institution Schools, and young people educated abroad as part of the Presidential Bolashak program. These are young people who haven't gained experience yet, but they are absolutely open and creative. They have a good command of languages and information technology. They are just smart people who are good to work with. The team solved several tasks at once. They were in charge of the management, they organized project operations, surveyed the best practices, headhunted and most importantly sought the place that the intellectual school should take within the education system. There is a saying in English, you can either watch things happen or you can make things happen. This is the very place where things are made to happen. The first bell in the school of the future rang on the 12th of January 2009 in Astana, seven months after the historic document was signed. The President of the Republic attended the opening ceremony. Following Astana, intellectual schools of the first president appeared in Semei and Kokshetau in the same year. The following year they welcomed students in Taldekorgan and Oskamenogorsk. And in 2012 another school was opened in Uralsk. You can feel the special atmosphere of the school of the future right when the door is opened. A big spacious hall in the form of an atrium 
and soft, warm light spreading through the cupola with a transparent dome, a round square with a cascade of stairs leading to all sides from it. Centrifugal and centripetal forces are always present here. However, the most interesting things in the school of the future happen during the classes. For example, maths classes can go beyond the classroom and move to the hall. Now we compete with the internet for the attention of the students. This is why our classes should be more interesting than lessons using the internet. The borders between subjects disappear. For example, in the elementary school they can learn both grammar and literature during Russian language lessons. A great advantage here is that they learn the language based on various pieces. This means that if I learn spelling, I learn it based on the classical pieces. And in the secondary school, during the research lessons, chemistry can make friends with biology and show children how to preserve products when camping. We took a grape and measured its temperature. Its temperature was 23 to 25 degrees centigrade. Then I took a piece of gauze and wrapped the grape into it. Then I covered it with spirit, then measured the temperature again. And the temperature was 20.6 degrees. There are no barriers between the students and the teachers. And you can hear a number of the most diverse points of views during the lessons. Students are encouraged to ask questions and think independently and are never reprimanded for their mistakes. I can come to my teacher any time, and I am sure he will never refuse to help. And I think it is real freedom when you are on one footing with the adults. The independence and autonomous status of Nazarbayev intellectual schools are provided by a specially created law. It means we can choose the programs, the curriculum and the partners to work with. The supreme managing body is the High Board of Trustees headed by the President of Kazakhstan, the leader of the nation, Nur Sultan Nazarbayev. The new name, Autonomous Educational Organization Nazarbayev Intellectual School, has fixed the name of the author of the Innovative Education Project. On the one hand, the project provides great opportunities to apply creative approaches towards management and gives the teachers the opportunity to find new ways to teach, but on the other hand, it requires a special level of responsibility from them. You can use any manual or handbook, you can use any technology or method you prefer. You can use whatever you choose, but you must get the expected result and lead your student to it. The English program includes so-called life learning, which means that a person should learn during their entire lifetime. The same concerns our teachers. Teachers should strive to be constantly improving themselves. The teachers are strongly motivated to achieve this goal since they have passed through serious testing like writing an essay, achievement of a portfolio demonstration and interviews before they enter the school of their dream. Now they are to prove to themselves and the others that it isn't for nothing that they have been chosen for this work. When my students are happy with their results, I am also happy. I like it when they say to me, I want to know this. I saw how this happens in nature. What does this mean? If they can apply what they know in their real life, any teacher will be completely satisfied with the work he has done. I'm pleased and even delighted, I'd say, when they interrupt and ask me questions. And the more they interrupt you and ask questions, the luckier the day has been, I think. Certainly, teachers should support children's interest towards learning. This is why in our school we are always in search of ways to upgrade our professional skills as teachers. We also seek the best ways and the most efficient methods of working with gifted children. The performance factor of the teachers working in the school of the future is rather a high figure especially for those who work as tutors, who are teachers from the Academic Support Service. Tutors supervise a small group of students concerning their academic subjects. The tutor is the one who takes care of the children. This person is like a second mum for them. And all tutors have the right qualities for this, because supervising five or seven children is much easier. 
For example, the first education program and the first education standards were developed together with the Kolmogorov Specialist Learning and Scientific Center of the Moscow State University. And the Cambridge International Examinations, the University of Pennsylvania, the CITO Institute for Educational Measurement helped Nazarbayev intellectual schools introduce the criteria-based system. If a student knows what criteria will be used to assess his level before any exam or test work, it will help them get prepared and work more efficiently during the lesson. I assessed myself at a mark of 18 because I demonstrated good knowledge of the test and good research. I worked with the presentation and I made a good one. I liked assessing myself. Specialists from Johns Hopkins University of the USA acquainted the teachers of Nazarbayev Intellectual School with the methods of working with gifted children. We were given an explanation during this class that gifted children are not always noticeable among other people. And often these are shy children. That is, it is so important to help these children to unlock themselves. When selecting children on a competitive basis to the Uralsk Intellectual School, they first used psychometric testing in partnership with the Johns Hopkins University. So when we think about identification, we have to take into account the kind of giftedness that the student has, as well as then the degree of giftedness in those areas. And usually for identification, we recommend using multiple criteria, including ability measures, achievement and performance measures, and then some measures that will get at other facets of the child. How can someone become an intellectual school student? Why would they want to? Can children from rural areas study there? These are the most frequently asked questions from those who want to study in the schools of the future. I had just A grades in my ordinary school in the village, and then I heard about this school. We took two exams. The first one was a multiple choice exam, which was quite easy for me. And as for the second test, it was a more complicated one for students from ordinary schools like me. It was more difficult. There are two principal directions at the Nazarbayev Intellectual Schools, which are Physics and Mathematics and Chemistry and Biology. This choice was made considering both current trends and forecasts as to what science will be like in a few years. The core subject in all the schools is Mathematics. Mathematics is the queen of all sciences. It is based on logic. What does a computer do? It only reads information, it doesn't think, and mathematics can solve tasks with the help of logic. I think no science can exist without mathematics. If we look at any person, even our president, the natural sciences revolve around mathematics like the earth around its axis. And they are no less important than mathematics. Modern physics includes electronics and new sources of energy. Biology and chemistry open opportunities into the future of technology. The trends of the 21st century prove that chemistry and biology will play a great part in the development of the community. And the President's address to the nation says that we are on the cusp of bio and nanotechnology. All schools of whatever title and scientific direction are similarly multilingual. All students should be fluent in three languages, Kazakh, Russian and English. Practice shows that children learn languages faster when they are involved in research or creative work using language as a means of expressing their thoughts and a means of knowing the culture of the people better. My research work is called the world of rare birds. I have the aim of determining the reasons why we should protect birds through close knowledge of the world around us. I am Russian, but I want to know Kazakh culture and history, and I want to know it well. And the theatre in our school helps me a lot in this. They use various elements like playing, dancing and speaking. This entire mix serves a single purpose pursued by the teacher. We work with the body. 
This includes muscular massage, developing body posture and working with the organs of speech. When we encourage the development of diction, articulation and pronunciation abilities, we also encourage the beauty of speech. I like our English lessons and uh, this language because uh, in these lessons we practice a lot. The multilingual learning program gained a fresh impetus when they started implementing team teaching methods in Nazarbayev intellectual schools. Team teaching proposes teaching two principal subjects in two languages, Russian or Kazakh and English, which is compulsory. The atmosphere in our classes is benevolent and comfortable. Children feel free and communicate easily. Many foreign teachers working in the intellectual school consider the multilingual nature of the school as one of the strong motivating factors for attracting them to Kazakhstan. Claire Powers took an interview in London and came to work in the Nazarbayev Intellectual Physics and Mathematics School in Kokshetau. It is fantastic to see a, a country that is investing in its education. It is fast developing and I know through the centres of excellence they are starting to spread some of the developments in pedagogy and approaches across to other schools within the, across the region and across Kazakhstan. And personally I actually find it quite exciting to be part of that development at the moment. More than 200 teachers applied in London and we could only choose 25 people. They didn't expect our requirements to be so strict. Foreign specialists are required not only to be highly qualified, but also to be ready to study the history, traditions and culture of the country. Liana Kent, a teacher from New Zealand, has a master's degree in natural sciences and engineering geology. She found the vacancy advertisement of the Kazakh Intellectual School on an international recruiting agency website. I was really excited when I came to read about the country and what it had gone through to become independent 20 years ago. And it mirrored a lot of what had happened in my country. I wanted to be part of it. The process of learning in the School of the Future is structured in a way that every student is actively involved in the process. Research and creative work contests and publishing works in scientific magazines offer good motivation and training for the children to develop their intellectual skills. Oljas Konakbaev and Dastan Beshimbay solved a tricky problem in physics and their solution was published in the Russian Quant scientific magazine. Previously this task was solved by scientists who can be said to be great ones. Well, and we approached solving this problem very creatively and decided to use a diagram. Research and creative works on the intellectual school students are amazing with their broad scale and audacious ideas. Compulsory requirement for the country's future is observing the principles of a green economy. In his project, Azamat Nagimzhanov studied the kinetics of iron diacine thermal destruction. The purpose of the work is to determine the level of contamination caused by iron diacine and to develop new technology to extract iron diacine when producing base metals. Ildar Baisekenev and Zangiri Klasov have created a version of an electromagnetic weapon. The electromagnetic weapon project has won first place in two international scientific contests in Switzerland and Fidjip Eurotalent in France. When we connect this gun to the circuit, we can see it charging. The charge is concentrated in the condensers. The lamp is on. When the signal is off, it means it has charged and we can shoot. The project, called Reasons for Emerging Earthquakes and Their Prevention by Alia Tursinova and Ayan Batirkhanov, won second prize at the Scientific and Technical Works Contest between the CIS states and the People's Choice Award at the Science Festival in Moscow. The young researchers developed a model of shallow focus earthquakes with the sensors installed in the zone of fracture developed their forecasting method and proposed a creative way of mitigating the level of earth shock with the help of water. We have these diagrams on which you can see the so-called foreshock. 
the very first small shocks. Having identified them, we can pour water into the fractures and the friction force will reduce. The team of Taldekorgan is recognized as the best one in the Republic. Working with the team reserve is special work. First of all, a teacher should be a highly qualified professional. Secondly, the teacher should be motivated to work in this direction. Those who have worked with contest participants for a long time understand very well that 80% of the work is done by the student rather than the teacher. Yerniyaz Nurgabilov has won a number of high-grade contest awards. One of them is a silver medal of the International Mathematics Olympiad, which he won in July 2012 in Argentina. Sport and our Olympiads are very similar. Both of them have winners and those who lose. We need to prepare thoroughly. Maths alone will not lead to victory. We also need to do sports. People who are destined to contribute towards the intellectual potential of the nation should always be in good shape. One of the special peculiarities of Nazarbayev intellectual schools are flash mobs during the breaks. Each school has its own topic and style. The area for creativity in the schools of the future is quite wide. Anyone can find their place and favorite thing to do. This is the craftsman town in the Nazarbayev Intellectual School of Kokshatau. Some of its residents are making a Kazakhstan version of a pottery toy. Others make pictures in the sand. Just a few movements with their hands and the sunny pitcher is ready. The future is not the result of a choice between a few images proposed by the current situation, but it is the space created first in our imagination and conscience and then in action. This is what Walt Disney said, the creator of the cartoon empire. All children are familiar with this world. It is impossible to plan discoveries, but we are able and should create a favorable environment to make them possible. The school in Taldekorgan is the only one amongst the other Nazarbayev intellectual schools which has its own nursery and a preschool opened as part of the experimental program to create a continuous education system. Learning English and computers from the age of three, logic, chess, origami and various circles and societies. Nursery school children are already involved in the education model under which they will be educated in the elementary school. Learn, aspire, create a new and improve yourself and your knowledge. The new integrated education program sets tasks like these for the students. The program was developed by the Education Program Center involving foreign specialists and teachers of Nazarbayev intellectual schools. It has been tested since September 2012. The new education program is results-oriented first of all. The new curriculum supposes that students will be continuously and actively involved in the education process. This program has considered the best approaches towards secondary education, for example the newly introduced subject of global perspective and research helps children improve their critical reasoning it was foreign specialists who shared the principles of critical thinking with Nazarbayev intellectual school teachers. And critical thinking is necessary for teachers and students uh, or anyone doing research or trying to convince others that something should be done in politics or economics or something uh, because we want to make sure that our Arguments are clearly understood. That is the domain of meaning. Our goal is not to give mere knowledge to our students, but to make them think and learn for themselves. And this critical thinking workshop is very helpful for this purpose. The second education program is the International Baccalaureate program. The Intellectual School of Astana has a good chance of entering Republican secondary education history as the first school to meet the International Baccalaureate program standards and requirements. It is an IB program candidate. Obtaining this International Baccalaureate program title by the school will give new opportunities for the graduates. 
If they score from 25 to 40 during the curriculum, they can enter any institute without taking any entrance exams, including the most prestigious ones. Leading world universities like Oxford, Harvard, the London School of Economics and UPenn accept such graduates of these schools without any questions. The peculiarity of IB schools is that the students can choose six basic subjects starting from the 11th grade. This program does not only study these basic six subjects, it also includes principal subjects which are called Cognitive Theory, Extended Essay and CAS, Creative and Action Service. The Special Serving Society program in place in Nazarbayev intellectual schools nurtures the notions of social maturity and active citizenship. We will educate children who will be good at chemistry, physics, mathematics and biology. But we also want them to think and their hearts to beat when they say, I will live, work and create for Kazakhstan. School children from Semei took a special needs school in an orphanage under their patronage. The children ran to me and cried, Mum, Mum, and my heart softened. Social projects like this make us realize that we are all people and we should be kinder to each other. This means that children who devote themselves to serving society in the future should not just be gifted and industrious, but also spiritually rich and active in life. To educate a citizen means not just knowing the statehood symbols, it means loving your homeland so much that you love every nook in it and keep the water and the place where you live clean. But these feelings do not appear from nowhere. They appear in those hearts which hear the breath of their land and feel their link with it. Reverence to the native land. This is how the expedition is called, which is organized by the Nazarbayev intellectual schools for their students during the summer holidays. Before this I knew it all from books only, and later when I took part in the expedition and was involved in excavations and talked to the scientists, it made me rethink it all because I talked to the people and knew a lot of new things. I remember this impression for my whole lifetime. Nazarbayev intellectual schools encourage young leaders. Malika Albakirova was elected the president of the school republic in Nazarbayev Intellectual Physics and Mathematics School of Astana in 2011. Malika is an absolute leader. She proved it by winning several international Olympiads, which included a maths Olympiad in Switzerland and a physics contest in Greece. She was also the finalist of FLEX, the international leadership program in the US. To be honest, I was shy before I came to Nazarbayev Intellectual School, and here my potential leadership skill was revealed. There is an understanding like the pent-up energies in power engineering. This means there is a source of energy, but no lines for power transmission. Nazarbayev intellectual schools have both a reliable source accumulating the best methods and the ways to transmit them to the Kazakhstan teachers. This function is carried out by the teacher training center. Teachers who have been trained at the center will act as the playing coaches when they return back home. We can say it prepares a kind of teacher's task force, which are people who perceive it faster than others, transform it into something new. And these people will distribute this to the rest of the teaching community. I am eager to pass all these stages in order to become a good coach and help other teachers to make a step forward, a big step. Teachers at the training center are educated through refresher courses. 
which use an integrated teacher training system, including full-time training and feedback, which is given online. The purpose of the program is what they call to rouse a sleeping giant, which is the teacher. This needs to be brought out because the teacher is a creator, and it is only he who can change the routine's practice. This is why the atmosphere of the course is always based on communication, creativity and give and take. To share my beliefs about how we do that and to just listen to what their beliefs were too and to be able to um, enable them to be able to go off and to teach teachers who maybe haven't got the same depth of understanding about the process of teaching. So that's what we're doing this week, we're sharing our ideas so that they can then go off and work with teachers subsequent to this course. We desperately needed such a teacher training centre. It was opened in quite a timely way, and we are sure to see the results of its activity in real practice. It is true that teachers' activity is associated with information renewal. Besides the teacher training centre in Astana, there are small centres working under the Nazarbayev intellectual schools in the regions to create the best conditions to train rural teachers. However, I was not just like a listener who listens and perceives information. I applied it all regarding myself, and I want to use it to hold my classes. In the next five years, nearly 120,000 teachers, or 40% of the total numbers of teachers in the Republic, should pass through the teacher training center. Such a prospect promises great changes that can happen in the secondary education system. These children know what they will be in future. First of all, I was interested in any science. Then I chose natural sciences and I chose physics out of the natural sciences. Each of them has already written their life scenario. I dream of being an engineer and I think the robotics course I am learning will help me in the future. I see myself as a doctor in the future. I want to cure people. When I'm a doctor, I will be able to help people with diseases. I dream of entering the Nazarbayev University and I want to get a degree in architectural engineering. There are many Nazarbayev intellectual school graduates among the current students of the most prestigious Nazarbayev University. I hope I will make my contribution to science of Kazakhstan. I want to be a scientist, and to be honest, I want to get the Nobel Prize. And today, Nazarbayev University gives us all opportunities to achieve this goal. The success of the schools and the university is based on the principal person who is present though not seen. I think the president has played a big role in the destiny of each of the children who study in this school. The era of the creative economy is starting. Its surplus capital is intelligence. The principal feature of production is unlimited resources and the key figure is an intellectual person. And these trends in the future were perfectly foreseen and realized due to the idea of the intellectual schools by Nur Sultan Nazarbayev. Five years in the history of Nazarbayev intellectual schools. On the one hand, this period is a measurement of the way that has been passed and on the other hand, it is a new benchmark which has yet to be achieved.
The Nazarbayev Intellectual School is the essence of knowledge, friendship, communication and unity. This is an example of what the school should be today. This school is like the first stage when you run a long distance. This is the place where I would like to study. This is the school where the future elite of Kazakhstan is being educated. This is a pioneer which leads the entire education system ahead. This is a great opportunity and the grounds for anyone to make a big achievement in life. They are happy children, the bright eyes of our children and their intelligence. This is our pride and joy. This is the pride of Kazakhstan. This is our bright new dawn and new technology for the development of our country. Life is quite another dimension. This is the world of speed. Schools of new level that are preparing students for the future. Symbol. I would say it is a symbol of freedom and power. This is the foundation of our future life. It gives me the possibility to show my skills and my knowledge and to use it all. This is my road to a great future. To be honest, this is my life.